Good morning and welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make a new journal entry today. Now, this journal entry that we're going to make is understanding remainders. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see what I'm looking at and then we'll be able to go from there. It's this one right here. Okay. As you can see in our table of contents, we've only had two journal entries thus far for this division section. Um, we talked about basic division facts, division as subtraction, and I think that today would be a perfect time to talk about um, understanding what a remainder is, okay? So I'm gonna put October something, whatever the date is today, of 2020, and we're going to put down interpret remainders. I-N-T-E-R-P-R-E-T, -E -E huh? remainders. Now, this is quite possibly one of the hardest concepts to learn. And I say that it's a hard concept to learn because we're going to have to write a story problem. I know, I know. Let's go ahead and write interpret remainders on top. And let's put the date in the corner. Again, I don't know what the date is today. It's, uh, it's a pre-recorded lesson. Now, I'm going to try keeping this as simple as possible. Um, I'm using a journal from last year so I can talk about this. But let's go ahead and say that Mr. K um, asked Mr. Farr to sort some base 10 blocks. Mr. K asked Mr. Farr, that's me, to sort some base 10 blocks. Perfect, and it's a period at the end, okay? He asked him to put five blocks per bag. Per bag, perfect, period. Here's the question, how many bags does he use? How many bags does he use? Question mark, okay? So let's say that Mr. K gave me, I don't know, let's say he gave me 27 base 10, base 10 blocks, like little unit cubes. And he gives me five bags to put them in, okay? Now, again, let's go ahead and set up our T-chart. And we are going to say that five is our divisor. So we're going to use the times and equals. So one times five equals five. Two is 10. And then 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And we're going to stop there because we're never going to have a two digit number on top. I'm just going to get caught up here. Three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. And that's definitely overkill for what we're trying to do, okay? Now, how many times can I subtract five from the number 25? So I'm gonna look for a number that's close to this number right here, 27. I don't wanna go over, so, oh, I found it right here. I see that it's five times. And five times five is exactly 25, okay? And when I subtract them, I'm left with two. This two becomes our remainder. Now, what this essentially is saying is this. Here's my five bags, okay? That's saying that I have five unit cubes in each bag. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. Now I have five bags and each bag is filled with five unit cubes. Now the problem is, is I have two unit cubes that are not in a bag. Now, what do I do with those two unit cubes that are not in a bag? Well, am I just gonna throw them away? Am I gonna cast them off like they have no value? Well, no, of course not. Of course I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a sixth bag. 
Now, how many bags am I filling up all together? Well, I've only filled up five bags, but I'm using six bags. What we're doing is we're saying that that remainder, we're going to add one, okay? We're gonna add one more. And what are we adding one to? We're going to add to this. Now, not all situations are going to ask for that. Not all situations are gonna ask for, well, how many bags? But if you see something that says like, how many bags in total are we going to use? Well, then at that point in time, you're going to add one, okay? Because not all the time is it going to say, like, what is this remainder? How many is the remainder of this? So you need to understand, and this is the overarching thing that we're doing. With a remainder, with a remainder, most often than not, you're going to add one more. And in this situation, it was one more bag, okay? But right there, I think that it's perfect. Just add one more of something, okay? Now, the way that we understand how this works is by being a reading detective. Find out what it is that they're asking. And if you can find out what it is that they're asking question-wise, you're gonna be so much better off because you will be more prepared for it. Now, hopefully this kind of adds a little bit of insight to something that can be kind of confusing. Um, and I, like I said, I think the hardest part of doing this is making sure that we understand or that we write down the, uh, the word problem. So this is going to be our journal entry for today. I will see you tomorrow or next time. I don't know. We'll see what happens.